I'm Dr. Shrikat. Today I'll discuss about guillain barre syndrome. So what is guillain barre syndrome? So GBS or guillain barre syndrome, it's an acute inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy. So it's acute and it's inflammatory it's demyelinating and it's polyneuropathy so what is the pathogenesis of this gbs So GBS, it's an autoimmune phenomenon in which there is production of antibodies against gangliosid or myelin. GBS develops one to four weeks after an infection with respiratory tract infection or gastrointestinal tract infection. The most common one is Campylobacter jejuni. So when there is infection by Campylobacter jejuni, then this Campylobacter jejuni enters into the blood and after one to four weeks, there is production of antibodies against that Campylobacter jejuni in the blood. And that antibody crosses the blood nerve barrier and attacks the gangliocyte in the Schwann cell. But the question is antibody is produced against this Campylobacter jejuni. But why this antibody is attacking this gangliocyte? The reason is this lipopolysaccharide of this Campylobacter jejuni has a molecular mimicry with this gangliocyte. So that the antibody that are produced against this Campylobacter jejuni attack this gangliocyte. So there is destruction of the myelin or demyelination. Now, why there is nerve conduction blockade? Because we know that in this nerve, the transmission of the impulse is by saltatory conduction. Now, what is saltatory conduction? Saltatory conduction means action potential will jump from one node of Ranvier to another node of Ranvier. And this transmission is very rapid. This is called saltatory conduction. Now, this saltatory conduction is maintained by this myelin sheets. Whenever this myelin sheets are lost, myelin sheets are destructed, then this saltatory conduction is also hampered so that there is nerve conduction is slowed. Now, the clinical features of GBS. So the clinical features include distal paresthesia and limb pain and there is rapidly progressing ascending muscle weakness from lower limb to upper limb and more marked proximally than distally. Then deep tendon reflexes are lost and there may be facial and bulbar weakness and diaphragm may be involved. If diaphragm is involved that time it causes respiratory failure which is the most dangerous complication of GBS and whenever there is a triad of ophthalmoplegia, ataxia and areflexia then it is called Miller Fisher syndrome. This is a subtype of GBS. So these are the clinical features of GBS. Now what are the investigations for GBS? So the investigations. First one is CSF study which should be done after 10 to 14 days and in CSF study we will get albuminocytological disassociation. What do we mean by that? It means that there is increase in CSF protein but without elevation of CSF cell count that is WBC. This is called albuminocytological disassociation. But now from where this protein are coming? So these are the myelin and this myelin is the source of protein. So whenever there is demyelination breakdown of this myelin, then this becomes protein. So these are the protein and which takes time. That's why it should be done after 10 to 14 days. And then nerve conduction test. Nerve conduction test means suppose this is a nerve and here is A point, here is B point. If we put a needle in A point and another needle in B point, then if we stimulate this A point and we record the time for the impulse to reach the B point. If the time is increased, that means the nerve conduction is slowed or hampered. Why? 
because there is destruction of this myelin fiber so that the nerve conduction is slowed or hampered. This is nerve conduction test. And then anti-gangliosite antibody, we may found anti-gangliosite antibody like anti-GM1. So now the treatment of GBS. The first one is supportive treatment to prevent pressure source and deep vein thrombosis and then regular lung function monitoring because the respiratory failure is the most common complication of GBS and intravenous immunoglobulin we can give and plasmapheresis or plasma exchange to remove that antibody. So this is all about Guillain Barre syndrome. Hope you like this video. Give your feedback in the comments below and subscribe to this channel for next videos. Thank you. Thank you.